Hey, mountain friends. Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Y'all, look what I'm going to show y'all how to make today. A good old pot of chili that the whole family will love. This is a favorite around our house and perfect for these chili nights and days that we're having now here in Kentucky. I know it's been pretty cold already, but y'all, this is a, some good stuff. You can eat on this for two or three days and and you can get a lot of different meals out of chili. That's what I like about it. And it's pretty cheap to make and it goes a long way and it's just good. And um, I'm gonna show y'all how I make mine. It's pretty simple, y'all. So let's get started. All right, mountain friends. So we're gonna get started on our chili. And um, I've already have, I have two pounds of ground i'm using ground venison you can use any kind of ground lean ground beef uh would work um since we uh do a lot of deer hunting we get a lot of our venison ground up so in place of ground beef i use my ground venison and it's really lean it makes really good chili and uh but like i said if you don't want to use venison you can use a really good lean hamburger hamburger meat. So I'm going to brown that up. So I got that on about a medium high heat uh, to start browning up. And now I'm going to do, this is a medium onion and you need, um, I like onion and I like garlic in uh, my chili. So we do, we do a lot of chili and we freeze our chili and that way you can just, um, go and get some right out of the freezer whenever you need it and i like that you can just reheat it and use it for a lot of different other things besides just uh eating chili for soup like a in a bowl with uh, crackers or sandwiches i like it with a like a taco salad there's a lot of different ways you can reuse chili. I love that fact that you can get a lot of different kinds of suppers out of like one pot of chili. So I like to just, just chop, you don't have to chop the onion up really fine. You can just do a, a rough chop. That's what I'm doing here. And you can do, um, I'm not putting any green peppers or anything in this chili today because I just don't have any, but it's really good with or without them. But you can do a chopped green pepper as well. It just makes extra flavor. So let me get this all chopped up. I'm gonna put my onion in with my hamburger, with my deer, I'm using deer, but and with my beef, not beef, deer. I keep saying beef, but it's deer. We'll say and with the meat. We'll do that. That way I won't have to keep saying deer meat. And now we're gonna do a um, some garlic. I like using fresh garlic. And I'm using, I think fresh garlic just tastes better. And I just use my garlic press here. And I got two, two cloves in there. I'll probably do two more. I like a lot of garlic, but you can leave that out. So now I'm just browning the uh, onions and the garlic with the meat. This is really lean, so I'm not going to have to rinse this or drain any uh, grease off of it. And I want to keep the flavor. And since it's lean, I am going to add a little bit of uh, olive oil to my mixture here. It smells really good. That garlic and that onion. This is going to be a, this is going to be like a meaty, hearty chili. Not very thin. Uh, we like ours meaty. 
<laughs> and thick and hearty, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna finish browning that up. It's almost ready and then we'll add the rest of our stuff. All right, the meat is browned up. The onions are all good and tender. You can smell it, it smells so good. So I'm gonna start adding all of my ingredients uh, first, my wet ingredients, and then I'll add my spices later. I'm doing a can of crushed tomatoes. This is a uh, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I like the crushed ones. This is a can of Rotel fire roasted uh, tomatoes and uh, I did not drain that so it doesn't really matter if it's drained or not, but I don't drain mine. But that I like the fire roasted, you get that good flavor. Uh, this is a, a can of light red kidney beans and a can of black beans. You can use whatever beans you like. We love black beans. We love kidney beans. That's usually what we put in chili. Let me get a spoon. And I'm just going to stir that up. And I'm going to add about about a cup and a half of water. And I'm gonna, so I'm going to add in about this much of tomato paste. That's probably a couple of tablespoons. I'm adding some Worcestershire sauce. That's a, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now, for extra rich flavor, I like to add the Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base. And I'm just going to put about that much. That's probably a couple tablespoons. That just adds some extra rich flavor to it. If you don't want to do that, you don't have this, just add about a cup of, um, instead of the water that I added in, uh, use beef broth or beef stock. I per, I, uh, I prefer stock. So instead of the water that I added, you would add some beef stock. And I added a cup and a half. I may need to add a little more. If it gets too thick, I usually thin it down with a little water. But just use some beef stock instead if you don't have the better than bouillon like I have. So I'm just going to stir this up. And I'm gonna start adding in my spices. Okay guys, now it's time to get started on the spices. And um, chili has just got has a little bit of everything in it, y'all. But I like mine really, we like ours pretty spicy, but just know you can always, uh, look, I'm gonna put crushed red pepper flakes in mine and you can always leave that out. And everything is optional, but I will tell you, these are the this these are the spices I think that makes chili really good. So I'm gonna use some smoked paprika. I think the smoked paprika makes the difference. And I always start out, I do a round of spices, and it's always to taste. Uh, if I whatever I put in, I let it simmer a while, then I taste it. And if it needs more, I put another round in. So that's how because I've never really used an exact recipe for chili. But I want to start out with about a tablespoon of smoked paprika. And like I said, that really to me makes the difference in chili. And I want to use about a teaspoon of chili powder, Cumin. Now, cumin is important also for chili. Uh, I like to use a lot, and I'm going to start out with about that much. That's probably about a tablespoon. Crushed red pepper flakes, totally optional. But I usually use about that amount, amount. That's about a teaspoon. Uh, I may even throw in some cayenne. If it's not hot enough, I may add a little more cayenne. 
uh, celery seed. I like celery seed in chili. I think it gives it a distinct flavor. I think it's really good. And I use about a half a teaspoon of celery seed. I can smell that smoked paprika. Now I'm using a few bay leaves. I'm doing about three. And I'm using some black pepper. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top, just a little. I wanna put a little oregano in it. I'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon of oregano and about a teaspoon of onion powder. So as you can see, it is smelling good. You can't smell it, but I can, but it is simmering. I got it on about a medium heat and I'm gonna let it simmer uh, for a few minutes before I taste it again to see what else it needs. Now I don't add a lot of salt because, I mean, you all your canned stuff usually have a lot of salt unless you buy lower sodium. And um, I'm just going to cover it here for a couple of minutes and let it simmer. And then I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs another round of spices. All right, look at that pot of chili, y'all. Smells good, got the house smelling good. Now I tasted it and I'm just going to add some cayenne. Like I said before, I probably would. I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Totally optional. You can leave that out. And I'm going to reduce the heat to about a medium low because I like mine to cook slow. I want to cover it. And right before we serve it is when we take the bay leaves out. So I'll let mine cook slow on about a medium low for uh, at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, at the most. You can uh, put this in a crock pot too would do great. Cook it on low for about four hours is a really good option. So it don't have to be on the stove top. But this is really good hearty chili. So I'm just gonna cover it and y'all, it'll be ready in about an hour and a half. It's gonna be some good stuff. All right, mountain friends, look at that chili. Gonna show y'all, it's been simmering for a little over an hour. Look at that. That's some hearty chili right there. Can't wait to eat it. Y'all, I'm curious, what do you all like to eat with your chili? We like peanut butter sandwiches, um, grilled cheese sandwiches. I think we might do some grilled cheese. And I like a lot of, I like the crackers, uh, corn chips, cornbread. But I really like it with, my favorite is with peanut butter sandwiches, but I like the grilled cheese too. But look at that. Man, that looks good. And it's actually healthy chili. It's low in fat because I'm using the, the lean deer. And if you use lean hamburger, like a 90-10, uh, it's, it's really good for you. This is a low fat chili, really good. Um, it's a really good healthy chili. So if you're looking for that, it's just naturally that way. So, uh, but I'm gonna make some tea. Y'all gotta have some tea, making Kenzie and I some tea. We're the only ones that drinks it. So y'all know I love the y'all sweet tea. My water is just about ready to boil. And I put my bag in there. And I'm gonna set it off and just let that set and do its thing. So we'll have us some tea for supper time. Let me put that down in there. We'll cover it up. Set my timer. All right. So, y'all, it'll be supper time soon. It's going to be some good chili. All right. 
Daddy's hungry. I am hungry. And he loves chili. Mm, smell that. And he loves deer chili. I do. But y'all, like I said, doesn't you don't have to make this with chili, uh, with deer at all. You can make it with hamburger meat. But actually, we don't see a difference in. You'll not taste a difference. Yeah, I most. Promise you that. I have made this before and I uh, haven't told people about it, and they don't know the difference. Yeah, and but chili, you're not gonna tell the difference. Only family members. I wouldn't yeah. take it to a, I wouldn't take it to like a church out church <laughs> function or somewhere and not tell nobody that's mm. deer meat. So I ain't like that. So all right, Daddy, take let's, your bite. Let's dare in. Lord, I thank you for this food. Thank you for your healing grace. Mm. Look at that big kidney beans. Oh man. Yeah, we like it beanie, beanie chili with a little kick. That's good stuff. A little kick. Now I like. We got an extra spoon, yeah. We do. Yeah, I brought you one. Always say, do a dollop of daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I like a little dollop of daisy on mine. Sour cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little dollop mm. of sour cream. Um. Let me grab a paper towel here. Right? Yeah. Uh, we like. Peanut butter sandwiches is ours too. Grilled cheese, peanut butter sandwich. And I dip mine in it. I do. It's so good. Y'all hear our dog? They decided to eat the same time. When we, we eat, the dogs eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take a bite. We got shredded cheese on ours. We, uh, I like a little cheese on it. And I like a little guacamole and all that. He doesn't, but. Nah, I'm just simple. Mm. It's, it's good, good. Ain't it? Oh, really good. Now, guys, what we do with this also, once we can't mm. obviously eat a whole kettle of chili. Yeah. So we, we put it in our vacuum bags and freeze it. Yeah, you can freeze it. Um, it's really, this is a grilled meal prep. Fix for days ahead, and like I said, there's different ways you can eat chili. Yeah. Um, not just like this, but yeah. I like it with yeah. I, I like it with taco salad. I mean, you could just do or Fritos, corn chips, yeah, that kind of good. thing. Mm -hmm. That's good too. But I just grab grab it. Excuse me, grab it out of the freezer, thaw it, and eat it. Yeah. So, but this is a good. This is how I make my chili. All the time. Only thing I didn't do different is if I'd had a green pepper, I would have cut up a green pepper in it. But it really doesn't have to have it. It doesn't really, <laughs> yeah. All that good melty cheese. It doesn't really have to have it. So it's still going to be good, y'all, no matter what. So uh, anyway, and you know, I've always got my tea. And y'all, look at these tumblers. <laughs> the y'all sweet tea tumblers. Uh, they were launched them on Black Friday. They still have them available and um, I like it so I can sip on my tea all day. And, uh, and I can't I don't break have to, it. <laughs> yeah, he brought my jar. They had a jar, they got cute jars too, but I love this one too. It's called a Turvis Tumbler. So uh, yeah, I'll go check them out. But uh, I'm always drinking my tea. So y'all, hope y'all have a good evening and we're gonna finish our supper. Thank you all. For watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. Just good eating. <laughs> Just good eating. Y'all enjoy that chili.